Before moving on from this question of evaluation, I want to take another look at the connections between the various subproblems. This network is called a butterfly network because the connections over here on the left look a little like a butterfly. Also note that there is a unique shortest path between all nodes on the right and those on the left. Another thing to note is that this sequence of evens and odds on the subscripts of these polynomials can be translated to binary, with e's being translated to zeros and o's being translated to ones. And these numbers then tell us which coefficient of the original polynomial to return here. And this makes sense because when we chose the even coefficients, we were choosing those that had zero in the lowest order bit. And when we chose the odd coefficients here, we were choosing those with one in the lowest order bit. It will also be instructive to write out the power applied to omega here on the right hand side. It turns out that these numbers on the left act as instructions for any path to this node from the right, and these numbers on the right act as instructions for how to get there from any node on the left. Let's go right to left first. Reading this bit sequence from the right, we find that 0 tells us to go the even route first, that is the higher of these paths everywhere. Then the 1 tells us to go to the lower route towards the odds, and then the last one again tells us to go the lower route towards the odds. And indeed that provides instructions for going from all of these nodes over here to this one over here. The reverse is analogous. We think about the least significant bit first. So to get to 6, going from here to here, we go to the omega that has the lower of the possible powers. And then in the next step, we go towards the one that has the higher of the possible powers of omega in all these cases. And the same thing in the last step. Again, going towards the higher power of omega, which is the downward of these paths. This network is well worth some study. It serves as an important example in graph theory, and the topology here has been used on some massively parallel computers uh, for their memory architecture.